Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm back here today with another requested reading, and this one is just going to be a check-in with Gypsy Rose. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on about her, and I did get another request, so I am here to do that now. So welcome back. If you are new here, hi. And let's get right into this. I shuffled everything, so I'm going to try to lay these out as quickly as possible. That's always the long part. I hope you can see. I'm trying to have the camera at a good angle here. So let me just lay everything out. And if you do have any other requests or any other, you know, things that you'd like me to try to read on, just leave me a comment below the video and I will put that on the list and I will get to it as soon as I can. So let me just finish laying everything out here. Alright, so I apologize if you can't see every card, but I'm trying to do the best I can with the angle I have. So everything is laid out the best it could be, okay? Okay, so just give me a second here. Let me see what I'm drawn to. I see a couple. This one. Start off with five. This one, this one, this one, and then, um, do this one right here. All right, so let's see. Um, and I just want to make a little disclaimer this is all for entertainment purposes only, and I'm not the most perfect reader in the world, okay? So if y'all see something that I don't pick up on, feel free to comment. I do not mind. Okay. We have the Ten of Swords. Okay, so this could be, um... Could be like a mental breakdown feeling kind of bitter and maybe exhausted and then like a collapse and a betrayal. So, I mean, obviously if we pay attention, there's definitely a lot of things going on about her right now. Um, I guess her and her husband are splitting up and, um, I guess she was spotted with like her ex fiance. Um, I guess they were just spotted like getting matching tattoos or something, which, I mean, you know, I'm not here to judge. It, it is kind of crazy. Um, I know her parents have come out and said that, like, you know, they're not, like, seeing each other like that. I mean, it does... I'm not going to lie. It does make me wonder because I don't know how many people will go out with their ex and go get a matching tattoo. Um, it is kind of weird. But, you know, it's just my opinion. I, I mean, she can do what she wants to do, right? She has free will. But it's just... It's really crazy how everything is playing out. But, um... There could also be some deep healing in her that she does need to work on because I do find it a little, just in my opinion, you know, like I said, I'm not trying to cut anybody down, but just in my opinion, um, it's just really weird the way, you know, things have played out with her, especially so quickly. It's just, I don't know. It's definitely crazy. So hopefully everything works out for her. I guess we'll see, but yeah, there's definitely, there's some, um, stress, stressful energy around her right now. Next, we have the King of Cups, so this would refer to, like, a kind, you know, person, like a kind man, so to speak, um, trusting, forgiving, creative endeavors as well. I'm not sure if this is coming up with, like, I mean, it could be her ex-fiance that she's seeing. Um, so that could be... Or maybe, like, she's forgiving him for the past. If y'all have any insight on this, let me know. Because, again, I might not be seeing it completely clearly. Okay, so next we have the Six of Wands. So this is about like a success, a victory, an achievement. 
So, I'm guessing maybe it's just like she's reaped a lot of rewards. I mean, the girl's made so much money, you know, just with everything that's happened, which is crazy. I mean, that to me is success. I mean, if you're all out in the public eye and, you know, getting attention and you got a TV show on Lifetime and all this other stuff, that's what I'm going to guess that refers to. And we have the Justice card. So, fair, fairness, um, <clears throat> having clarity, lawsuits will be won. Um, so, yeah, something could be, you know, going in her favor, or this could just be, you know, with the past and everything that's happened. Like, justice has been served, I guess. Again, there might be more to that that I'm just not getting. Again, I'm not perfect. I'm not going to act like I am. So, yeah. Then we have the Seven of Wands. So this talks about being, you know, it could be, like, defensive. Also being determined. Fighting for what you think is right. Not caring what other people think. And you can see this person here. Um, he's almost, like, fighting, like, with these, you know, other sticks. And that, to me, too, I'm kind of picking up that, you know, she does have, like, a lot of eyes on her. Um, a lot of judgment and, you know, especially with everything that's just happened, like with her leaving her husband, her being spotted with the ex-fiance. Um, it's just, there's a lot of fingers being pointed right now and, uh, you know, but she is strong-willed and she's going to fight and she's going to do what she wants. It is her life. You know, she does have that right, but yeah. All right, let's pick some more here. Do another five. Okay, one more. This one. Okay, so we have the lover's card. Actually, nine of swords. Four of Swords, Ace of Wands, and Queen of Wands. So, the Lover's card, you know, does talk about partnership. Um, so, this could be referring, you know, this is just my opinion, and please don't come for me for saying this. I mean, I am entitled to that. Um, I do wonder, though, if this does come up with this new person. Like I said, I just find it really hard to believe that you would go get a matching tattoo with your ex-fiance and nothing's going on. I mean, I would just think if I was gonna, you know, start hanging out with my ex-fiance and we went and got matching tattoos, I'm gonna assume and guess that I would probably, you know, still have feelings for that person because it's just, it's too weird to me. You know, there has to be some sort of, something has to be going on. I know her parents came out and said that like, oh, nothing's going on, like they're just friends, but I just, I don't know, man. To me, it's kind of hard to believe. Maybe it's possible, but it's just my opinion. Um, and this could also be, you know, about decisions, you know, that she's had to make recently, especially like within, you know, her relationship with her husband. Um, but that's usually what I read with a lover's card. It's either, you know, some sort of partnership, some sort of connection, but it could also be like a decision that you have to make. So, I mean, it could be either one of those with her or actually it could be both, you know, but I just, I do find it weird that she would just be, I don't know. You don't go get a matching tattoo with somebody that you don't care about. You know what I mean? That's just, even if you are friends, I mean, maybe they are, but it's, just, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just reading too much into it. But that's just my opinion. But anyways, next we have the nine of swords. So, you know, obviously this talks about anxiety, having some fear, um, breaking point, feeling very overwhelmed. So Gypsy could be feeling some anxiety and fear right now. And, you know, probably is, you know, with everything going on. Like I said, she has a lot of eyes on her. And, uh, you know, it's, there's a lot of fingers being pointed. And I'm sure, you know, not, a, not even just with that, but just everything that she's been through, you know, um, the murder of her mom and everything, you know, I mean, obviously that's going to leave some mental wounds. So, yeah. All right, then we have the Four of Swords. This talks about resting, contemplating things, recuperating. So, 
yeah, she may be finding herself, you know, in a time, well, maybe she should as well, you know, just kind of rest and relax. I mean, obviously, you know, life is moving very quickly for her, obviously, you know, with some of the choices that she's just made. I mean, I still can't believe it, but I kind of can at the same time. Um, I mean, you know, sometimes when you're in prison and you get married, sometimes it does work out, but sometimes it just doesn't, you know, and it's just, I don't know, it's a big mess. It really, truly is, but I wish her the best of luck. We have Ace of Wands. Um, so, yeah, breaking through, having progress with stuff. Um, I also read Aces. It's like new beginnings as well. So, I think, you know, well, obviously she will be embarking on a new beginning. Um, you know, and just not caring, you know, being fearless breaking through things um and there might be something else there that i'm not entirely picking up on and then we have the queen of wands you know this talks about you know a confident woman um and she's determined no matter what and i don't know how to pronounce that v-i-v-a-c-i-o-c-s victacious is that what that is but yeah let's do a couple more We'll pull a couple more and see what else comes up here before we close. Queen of Cups, King of Swords. Five of Wands, the Hierophant, and then Three of Swords. Okay. So, the Queen of Cups, you know, just talks about a kind woman, you know, empathic, supportive. So, I'm guessing that, you know, obviously is referring to Gypsy. Um, and also, you know, down here, as you can see, it talks about, like, counseling or therapy. I don't know if Gypsy is in that, but she might actually, if she's not in it, she might benefit from that. That might actually help her. Like I said, I don't know if she's in it. I think she might be, but I'm not 100% sure. But, you know, if not, it might be a good thing for her to, <laughs> you know, look into. Then we have the King of Swords, so, you know, this talks about, like, an authority figure, Justice, honesty, and truth. So, yeah, again, I'm not sure if that, um, like I said, when I'm reading the kings that are coming up, I'm guessing it's probably, like, the men in her life. I mean, this could be soon to be, um, ex-husband. It could be, you know, the ex-fiance she's hanging out with. I'm not sure. Let me know if y'all have any insight on that. And then we have the five of wands so this talks about you know some competition conflict arguments dispute tension i mean i can definitely kind of see that with everything going on that does make perfect sense so yeah she's probably you know gonna have some disputes and things that she's gonna have to uh, work through you know Especially with everything going on the way that it is. And it just sucks, too, because you're in the public eye. Everybody sees everything. So, yeah. Okay, so the Hierophant, to me, I read this as, like, a spiritual card. At least that's how I read it. Or, like, education, like, learning and stuff. And, like, wisdom and knowledge. Like I said, there might be more to that. That I'm not picking up on, but that's what I read this as. So, I'm not really sure about, like, Gypsy's faith or anything, or, like, her religious beliefs, but that's what I read this as. Again, there might be something else that I'm not picking up on, but yeah, this, to me, is, like, the spiritual or, or like, religious, like, wisdom card. And then we have the Three of Swords, you know, it's just heartbreak, separation, emotional pain, betrayal, loss, trauma, tears, you know, and that does make sense with everything going on. You know, the breakup and 
you know, who knows what else is to come in the future for her. But I hope this reading helped. I did the best I could. So, yeah, to whoever requested this, I hope it helped you a little bit. Um, I'm going to close here. If you have any other requests or anything you'd like me to look into, just leave me a comment below and I will get to it as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye!